I heard a loud sound. The walls started shaking. I felt it was an earthquake. There were shouts and broken glass from the neighbors. It's like you expect the unexpected. We were already battling with an economic crisis, refugee crisis, a pandemic, and then this. You expect such things in times of war, but not in times of peace. The hardest part was when I went to the classrooms and I saw the damage, and it was not the damage that uh, really uh, affected me. It was when I, I started seeing the faces of the students who could have been sitting on, on the desks and what could have happened. I would say the hardest part was to help ourselves stand on our feet so that we in return can help others. As ministry, we, we really felt that uh, it's the time to live our faith. The entire Mirath team was quickly mobilized and we started thinking of ways of uh, how to help. So we were offering um, food aid, hot meals for um, families and volunteers on the ground who were removing debris and from the houses and from the streets. After that, we started also working on shelter rehabilitation. We started helping with fixing homes, windows, uh, broken doors, all of these things. And ABTS decided to open its buildings to host families that were affected by the explosion. We started preparing the place and providing basic needs for uh, families to stay in our buildings. Also, we started uh, giving out food vouchers, which is still continuing until this day, as long, along with uh, hygiene kits. At Skilled and as therapists, we felt the need to support our students. So we held an area, a space for them to come and express their thoughts and their feelings, in addition to providing them with a booklet with a practical activities to relieve their stress. As a school, we have 160 teachers and most of them were affected by the blast. So we uh, started uh, communicating with them and seeing the, the amount of damage and we started helping them. On top of what the different LSCSD ministries were doing in terms of response, we wanted to focus specifically on school rehabilitation. We thought that since education is a source of hope for many, we wanted schools to open as fast as possible. Honestly, it made me realize that everything can change in a split second. At the same time, it also made me realize that as long as we are united, a lot of things can happen. What was amazing is that everyone got together to help. People from all around Lebanon came down to the area where the explosion happened and they started helping with whatever they can. We realized the importance of Beirut Baptist School as a community provider. Hope is desperately needed in Lebanon today, so we see God at work both within us as a team and as church partners and as ministries, but also through us in planting those seeds of hope in the community. And uh, this is something that only God can bring about today. You can um, make a difference in people's lives. Even a small difference uh, would have a big impact. The precautions of something that big usually last for a long time. That's why our work as Mirath is very much needed still now as it was needed on the first day. An explosion from this dimension needs a response that is over the long term. And we can still feel God's presence working uh, through us despite our weaknesses and despite our shortcomings and failures.